Okay, so today we're looking at factorials and combinations. So starting off, we have the definition of a factorial here. And we write the symbol n for the number and then the exclamation mark, that's a symbol for the factorial. And it's defined as n times n minus one times n minus two, all the way down to two times one. So let's look at an example. So for example, if we want five factorial, then just by this definition, it's five times four times three times two times one. And then this comes out as 120. Now this is typically something that gets very big very quickly. If n is large, then n factorial is even larger because we're multiplying all these numbers together. And what's nice about factorials, it gives all the possible orderings for n objects. So for example, let's look at the simple example. So let's look at if we have three objects, so let's call them A, B, and C. And we want to find out all the possible arrangements for A, B, and C. So we can switch, for example, current A, C, and then B. If we've left A in the first place, we've just swapped B and C. And then how many possible orderings are there? Well, for this example, we can work it out. But using factorials, it's actually just the number of objects times uh, the factorial. So three factorial, which is three times two times one, which is six. So there should be six ways of ordering these three objects. And let's try and find them. Now, we've exhausted all the options where we started off with A, but we could start off with B instead. So we have B, then A, then C. And we could swap A and C, so B, C, and then A. And now what about if we start with C? So C, then A, then B. And again, we can swap these two. So C, then B, then A. And these are actually all the possible combinations. You can check them. And as we expected, we've got exactly six of them which is really good. And this is really handy because if you've got lots of objects, there's a nice simple formula for it. So n factorial gives the number of ways of ordering n objects. And now we're gonna look at combinations. So I'm just gonna wipe this off and then we'll look at that. Okay, so now we're gonna introduce this notation. So we have n and then below it, I'm gonna write r, and then I'm gonna write brackets around these two symbols. So we say this is n choose r. And now this is defined as n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial on the bottom. So as an example, let's just do five choose three. And then by definition, this is five factorial divided by three factorial. And then five minus three is two. So again, we have two factorial here on the bottom. And we can simplify this. So five factorial we worked out earlier was 120. Three factorial is six, two factorial is just two. So this comes out to be 10. Now, the reason why this uh, object is really useful is because it gives a number of ways of choosing R objects, R on the bottom, out of a total number of N items. And let's do an example so you see what I mean. If we have uh, A, B, C, and D, and now these are uh, objects, so N equals four here. And say we want to find all the number of combinations where we just choose two of these options. So we're gonna choose R equals two. And so to do that, let's work them out. We could choose A, B, just these two. We could choose A, C, we could choose A, D. And that's all of the pairs where we've chosen A. So let's look at the other ones where we don't use A. So if we, we use uh, B and then C, and also B and then D, but we can't do B and A because we've already got A and B. And this time the order matters because we're only interested in what's actually here and not the ordering. And finally, there's one more where we don't use B, but we use C. And then we've also already done C and B and C and A, so we've just got C and D left. And there's none for D because we've already got C, D, B, D, and A, D. So we see we have a total of six combinations. Six combinations. And as I was saying earlier, there's actually a formula for this where it's just given by this. So we just plug in N equals four and R equals two and it should hopefully give us six. So if we do uh, four choose two, let's plug it into the formula. We have four factorial divided by two factorial times four minus two is two again. So this is two factorial. And then this simplifies four factorial is four times three times two, which is just 24. Two factorial is two, so we have two times two, which is four. And then this is exactly six, which is what we wanted, which is really good. 